Hi, Patty Sheeler here, and today we're going to create a very quick capture page um, from a site called Weebly.com, and it's free to do. So after creating an account, we're going to log into our account. We're going to go over and create a site. Okay, we're going to enter the title, and I'm just going to use my name since we're branding ourselves. And I'm going to classify this as business. And then the category for this would be services for me. And then we're going to continue. Then we're going to use a subdomain for Weebly. So we're going to put our subdomain name in here, which will be our name again. And we want to see if it's available. And it is. Okay, so we hit continue. Okay, it comes up with a default design here. And you can pick from many different designs. I like to do that first. And the design is up here. Okay, so you can kind of put your cursor over the design to look at it and go, yeah, that one or that one. Um, let's go ahead and just try this one. Okay, so now we're going to need to go back to the elements because we're going to drag and drop elements down here on our page. Okay, we're going to put in um, a title. So we're going to drag and then drop it. Okay, you click here to edit and we're going to put in, uh, have you been spending more money online than you are making. Okay, now I'm going to want to center that, which I can do right here. I'm going to want to make sure it's a little bit bigger, but not where word wraps. So that's that's be the good size. And now I'm going to make it a, a color because I want it to really stand out. Okay, so let's try this red and see what happens. Not bad. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to come down here below the title and I'm going to put a two column layout in right under this and I'll show you why I'm doing it. Okay, this gives me the ability to put an element here and an element here side by side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my picture with some verbiage over here by clicking and dragging. Then I just click it to add the um, picture and it can either come from my computer, the photo gallery or the internet. I have one on my computer right here that I can use and there I am. And I'm going to want to put in, um, I can help right here. And I'm going to want to center that. Okay. And then I'm going to put in a little bit more information right here. And I have this on a notepad all ready to go. So hopefully this will paste in okay. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, and we can make that picture just a little bit. Um, I think we can make it a little smaller. Yeah, there we go, because that makes our words come in here a little bit better. Okay. Um, let's make sure our words all get lined up in here right. Okay, and now I'm going to want to come down below the picture and I'm going to put in uh, work with someone you can trust. And I'm going to want to make that stand out a bit. So I'm going to make that, um, let's see here, make that a little bit bigger. Oops, excuse me. All right, I'll do that in a minute. Over here, where it says drag elements here, this is where I'm going to put in a capture form. And this capture form is done with custom HTML. And you don't have to know HTML. You just click and drag it down there. Okay. Then you go to your autoresponder, whether it be Traffic Wave or AWeber. Um, I use both. Uh, I'm going to use Traffic Wave in this one. And go into my Integrity Networker campaign here. And I'm going to pick up this form name, email, and phone number. Okay, so I want to come down to the bottom here and where it says select all, this is the HTML code source. I hit select all, then I hit copy 
and I'm going to come back over to Weebly and I'm going to say click on custom HTML I want it centered okay and I'm going to edit the custom HTML and I'm going to paste that in there okay and then when I put my cursor off to the side you'll see a form there okay and with this template it's really dark so I'd probably want to change this a bit okay so I'm going to come over to the design and I'm going to see what this would look like here okay with this kind of template and there is my form and I'm probably going to want to bring that form down okay so I'm going to come over to elements again and I'm going to put in here um, a paragraph on top of the form okay because I'm going to want to put words in there saying to find out how I make money from home fill out the, uh, the form below now okay and now I'm going to want to make that a little bit bigger okay because I want them to do that I'm going to center it a bit to make it look good and I'm probably going to want to change the colors so that people pick up on it and see it right away okay so now this is ready to get published um, there's a couple things I don't like on it I don't want to leave my name up there like that and it doesn't really need to say home here because um, this is this is just a capture page so what I'm going to do is come on over to pages and I don't want the word home to show up in the navigation menu so I hit save there and you see that it's gone I'm going to go to settings and I don't want to show the site title at the top of the page okay and you can also remove the Weebly footer message if you want to okay and then you just hit save and now your capture page is clean and ready to go and all you have to do now is publish it okay and you're gonna publish it and this will be the URL HTTP Patty Sheeler dot Weebly dot com and I hit continue and I could share it on Facebook or Twitter here if I wanted to um, not going to do that right now because this is just a demonstration okay and now you're done you're totally done thank you for attending talk to you soon bye